it's time to take a trip back to the 90s when Pokeballs, Game Boys, and trading cards took over the world. This week we're diving into the Pokemon phenomenon that changed pop culture forever. From the show and games to all the craziness of Pokemania. And we've got a special game lined up. Jackie's got a challenge inspired by the classic Who's That Pokemon segment. Let's see how much we remember from the time of Pokemon. Honestly, I think what we should have done, Jackie, was made a full episode or bonus episode about the Pokemon craze, what happened, and what the fuck this was. And that is exactly what we ended up doing. Welcome to the No More Late Fees podcast. You are now listening to some bonus clips that we pulled from our Pokemon episode going over the Pokemon phenomenon and just our understanding of Pokemon in general, our obsession with Pokemon Go, and just all things Pokemon. So hope you enjoy, buckle up, have fun. I don't know. I get, okay, so you tell me if I'm right. I don't even know if you are on the wavelength, but okay. So for my understanding, Pokemon was... A Japanese show. I don't did know. Did it stem from sh- a ma- manga or something? I don't know if it was a card game or a show first. Let's find out. But it is Japanese, so you got that correct. <laughs> right. So it's a Japanese game slash show. Yes. It also was turned into like a Nintendo game. Mm-hmm. There's also cards that you can play with yeah. not like that's playing the game cards, but like oh yes you're trading yeah. cards yes it centers around ash wednesday no nope. ash okay Ketchum. ash ketchum for catch them all <laughs> the whiniest not great catcher there is or he was sorry angry, trainer then yeah <laughs> <laughs> he's a trainer with his two besties that are also trainers Mish- and, Misty and Brock. Yep. And they catch he one of okay. Oh, here's something else I know. When you're starting off, you can only catch three. You have three starter Pokemon that you could start with. Is that this is where I'm a little fuzzy. I think there are supposed to only be three types to choose from. That's Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and Charmander. Okay. Somehow in the first episode, I don't remember how it happens. Essentially, I think Pikachu, like, imprints on Ash, and Ash is like, get the fuck out. Like, I want Squirtle Mm -hmm. or something. And then Pikachu's like, nah, man, we're ride or die. And so (laughs) Pikachu, like, forces himself upon Ash is how I remember it. Listeners, please correct me if I'm wrong. (laughs) Also, is Pikachu... Like, is there, there's other versions of Pikachu out there? Because it always just feels like Ash is the only one that has a Pikachu. Yes. There is, there is an episode where, where Pikachu gets sick or something. I don't know. Like, I cried because, like, Pikachu <laughs> is not doing well. And all these other Pikachus from the Pikachu family come out and, like, surround him. And they're singing a Pikachu song. And it is so devastating. Oh. Like, to watch all of these Pikachus trying to revive Ash's Pikachu. But yeah, like, Pikachu is the species. Gotcha. And are these species similar to, like, Avatar, where they're a mixture of two animals? Or is are some of these Pokemon just random-ass things? Yes. So there, there <laughs> are, like, yeah... Some are very much like a Vulpix is just kind of like a a dog with like extra tails. Squirtle is obviously a turtle that has water abilities. But then you get stuff like Bulbasaur, which looks like a frog with an onion on its back. Yeah. And then you flower as it evolves. yeah. Yeah. And then you get some weird ass shit, especially as the series goes on and they add more series. Mm -hmm. and like some of them are just 
weird. I can't even think of an example. I like that fox one that has the three tails. Or That's full pics. Yeah. That looks like a very bougie lady with a fur coat on. I like, <laughs> I like their style. So from Wikipedia, this is what it says. Pokemon okay. is a Japanese media franchise consisting of video games, animated series, films, and a trading card game. And other media. The franchise takes place in a shared universe in which humans coexist with creatures known as Pokemon, a large variety of species endowed with special powers. The franchise's target audience (laughs) is children ages 5 to 12, but is known to attract people of all ages. It originated as a pair of role-playing games, so it did start as a game first, developed by Game Freak from an original concept by its founder, Satoshi Tajari. Sorry if I said that wrong. It was released on Game Boy in 1996, and the games became sleeper hits and were followed by the manga series, a trading card game, and then the anime series and films. From 98 to 2000, Pokemon was exported to the rest of the world creating an unprecedented global phenomenon dubbed Pokemania. (laughs) (laughs) I also want to admit, because it's a safe place for uh, for all of my random thoughts, I was not in just one, but many Pokemon Facebook groups (laughs) in the height of pokemon go like again i i hit i missed the original boat of pokemania of pokey (laughs) what is it called pokemania oh pokemania i missed the first boat but it got me that second time and (laughs) i was in these group chats looking for pokemon telling people where i spotted certain things like a fucking crazy person i was in my car it was a sense of community (laughs) at that (laughs) time Because you'd be in your car and you're watching and you're like, are they playing Pokemon? And then you see them do like the slide on and I'm like, they're playing Pokemon. I'm not such a weirdo. So I happened to be in a plaza one day and I see this giant group of people huddling and I know that the cupcake store, Caprimo, holla, if you live in the Austin area, Caprimo Caprimo is a the superior cupcake. I knew that they were a a, a gym. Mm-hmm. And I was like, are all of these people gathering because there's about to be like a special <laughs> character battle? And sure as shit, I open up my Pokemon Go and it's a Mewtwo battle. <laughs> and I stood there with the rest of them. And I was like, I guess we're all doing this. And there were like 29 of us in that battle. And we all Took down the gym, (laughs) caught our Mewtwo's, and then everyone dispersed and got back in their cars and left. It was wonderful. (laughs) I would drive and have that fucking app open in case I need to pull over and catch something. And I'm like, this is madness. (laughs) And I knew it was bad when Serena was like, yeah, I'm not playing that anymore. <laughs> like I was still, you know, like her and I went hard for it and then we stopped. And then when I came to visit you, I got back on the wagon again. And she was like, nah, sis, it's, it's, it's over. <laughs> Finger on the pulse of what's cool. <laughs> yeah. She's like, no, it would take me at least an extra hour to drive home every day because I would purposely take the roads I knew had pokey stops and a lot mm-hmm. of like churches and stuff. So I would pull into the parking lot, take down the gym, spin, get my rewards, continue on to the next <laughs> church. And it's Texas. We got a lot of churches. So yeah. I could hit like five or six gyms on the way home. It was what a time. And <laughs> when it first started, they actually had a pokey crawl downtown where all of the downtown bars had like drink shot specials that were all named after different Pokemon. <laughs> and there was a contest for whoever caught the largest or like the highest like CP count Pokemon during that like 
the hours of the pokey crawl i came in second <laughs> I, it, I, it was in ekans it was almost big enough and i was really disappointed those creep me out because they're just like these eggs no, the Ekans was the snake. Ekans is snake spelled backwards. They oh, were also God. not super creative on naming some of those. What were the egg things then? Those were I can't remember what like the base level is, but executor is like what it evolves to. And it either looks like a really fat palm tree with a face, or it looks like a giraffe had sex with a palm tree. Like it was an animal with a really long neck and the head had palm fronds on it yeah it was it was the summer of 2016 when it, it was. all started <laughs> when pokemon go and augmented reality game came and hit the beaches in stores I, I still love pokemon go and laura she's been a, a guest several times but she and i still talk about how we need to just go out and do like pokemon, a pokemon go, go yeah. day and just drive around and hang out and and catch I was getting my steps in when I was playing yep. that game. And Pokemon as a whole is the world's highest grossing media franchise and one of the best selling video game franchises of all time. I mean, it's a pretty solid franchise. Like, and, and the story, not the story of Pokemon, the first movie, because this movie, this <laughs> story made very little sense. Mm. But the story on a whole, it it's really wholesome and like just encouraging people to like work together and it has morals woven throughout it and so it's just a really solid franchise well did you know the original full name of the franchise was pocket monsters or i, I <laughs> poketo <laughs> Mutsuta. that's why some people who are very religious don't let their children have access to Pokemon because it has oh. monsters in it and it's demonic. Interesting. Yeah. Well, I learned a lot. <laughs> I'm still very confused and we'll have questions, but this is a, a good start. Yeah. Question. Have you ever watched Detective Pikachu? No. The Ryan Reynolds movie? Yes. No. Highly mm -hmm. Highly recommend it. I feel like it is so well done. It is such a precious story. It has Bill Nye in it. So okay. I um, may on a very bored day. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, like it is be quickly become. I mean, I do have history with Pokemon, but it has quickly become one of my like go to movies. If I can't find anything to watch, I throw Detective Pikachu on. Well, I will, you know what? I might watch with one of my brothers. There's my brother Tariq and I have like ironically or we're watching the Sonic the Hedgehog movie because he was like, oh, it's so good. And I was like, oh, okay. That, I think I've told you this, that fucking movie had me dying. And then the <laughs> second movie, like him and I, when we talk, that's what I, I'm like when is the third movie coming out and then the Knuckles TV show came out and I still didn't watch it. I was like waiting for you to come visit so we can watch it together I feel I'm... like Detective Pikachu I mean it's not as slapsticky as Sonic Sonic is in some parts mm -hmm. but like it very much has that feel of just like a really well done movie yeah well all right I will try it but if it's not good, I'm calling you right as I'm watching <laughs> That's fine. It. Um, I know some of the things I suggest is just because, like, <laughs> I love it so much. I need you to love it. But this, it is, it is good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear a word from our pod pals. That kind of launches us into... A, a game I made up. Are you, are you ready to play a game? <laughs> so, so obviously at the end of every episode, it was always like a shadow of a Pokemon. And it's like, who's that Pokemon? And then it's like, right. Raichu. So 
I was going to do just straight Pokemon and have you make mm-hmm. up names for them if you didn't know the names. That's but I went I a different di- direction. And these are just characters and items from the late 90s and early 2000s that you have to guess by the shadow. Okay. So I made I... a little easier for you. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Can you see my screen? I can. It says Pokemon question mark. <laughs> <laughs> I put my keyboard away. I have to get it back up. Okay. Our first Pokemon. Who's that Pokemon? That is Steve Urkel, <laughs> aka Jaleel White. <laughs> Next one. Who's that Pokemon? Oh, this is so hard. Okay, that looks like Stitch, but is it a zombie version? No, nope, oh, it's Stitch. Okay. His x-rays are scary. <laughs> Next up. It, well, it's a Tamagotchi. It is. <laughs> You're doing so well. <laughs> Oh, that's JC from NSYNC. <laughs> I am very impressed that you got that from ahead. <laughs> that's, what is it? Mishu, what was his name from the dragon from Mulan? Yep, Mushu. Mushu. Yep. There you go. Oh, that demon child, Furby. <laughs> I never had a Furby. Those things look weird. I never had one either, Mm-mm. but they they haunt my nightmares. <laughs> yeah, they're real creepy. Oh. Is that Harry Potter? It is Harry Potter. <laughs> I thought it was James at first. James <laughs> Potter. <laughs> I had to try and get one with the side profile so you could see the glasses. Yeah, because otherwise... That's Pikachu. That is Pikachu. <laughs> the only god really Jack. <laughs> yeah, Pickups. I'll take no more late fees for 200, Alex. <laughs> you didn't phrase it in the form of a question. <laughs> oh. Sorry. And last one. Keenan and Kel. Nope. <laughs> it's us. <laughs> it's not us. I think you did you had a lot of fun making this game. <laughs> you did excellent. I think I created a really well-rounded game. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Although I feel like na- making names to Pokemon would probably be a very funny episode. I I think maybe we need to record that <laughs> at some point. Oh, because man. I know Ken. Ken did not know the names of Pokemon either, and so like Bulbasaur mm-hmm. is named Onionback. <laughs> <laughs> so Ken yeah. named all his Pokemon very literally. So we'll we'll have to maybe for the next movie because I know we have Pokemon two thousand to do wonderful i'll challenge you to come up with names of pokemon all right so if you have any feedback on today's episode or you are a diehard pokemon fan and we got a lot of shit wrong no problems no problemo hit us up at no more late fees on instagram facebook tiktok twitter youtube and threads and don't forget to join us next week as we ski the slopes without cold and as always Be kind and rewind.